Hello, hello. Happy January 3rd, 2022. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, it's just going to be how to use clipping masks and specifically how to use clipping masks to apply textures to fabric. Like for instance, if you wanted to change a boring tool dress and add some sparkle, this is how you would do it. So let's get into it. To begin, I wanted to show you a portrait I did of a photographer that I flew down to Denver to create this for her brand. And um, this was basically a tool dress that I had painted. And then because it looked too much like blur, I thought, oh, I, I would like to add some texture. So I added the sequence texture over top. This is the first time I ever did it. It's not perfect, but I'll share with you the technique on how to do that. So for instance, let's just give you an example of the technique before I show you the steps that I did. So selection masks are important for this. They have to be pretty accurate. So let's just do a basic thing to show you first, okay? So grab your lasso tool or your quick selection tool, whatever you like to use. And let's just say, I'm just gonna basically grab a portion of the pant leg here really quickly just to show you how I do it. Make sure that your selection is accurate. So zoom right in, make sure you get it as perfect as possible. After you get your selection, my advice to you is to save it. And all you do is go up to select, save selection and name it. I number them one, two, three, four, how, however many selections that I do it, but make sure you save it so that you can always refer back to it if you need to. And then what you're gonna do after you do that, you're just gonna go command J. Okay, so what that does is it just puts that piece of that selection onto your image. And then what you can do is super easy. Just grab your fabric swatch. And honestly, you can just use an image of anything. This is a very small image file that I grabbed from Google. And all you do is grab it and put it onto your image. Okay, make sure that it's above that little piece that you clipped out. And what I like to do is I just turn it so that it's going in the same direction as the fabric or the, the wardrobe, whatever you like. Right click on that layer, choose create clipping mask. So now it's clipped right to that piece of the wardrobe or whatever you're doing and change your blend mode to overlay. So what it does is it just adds that really pretty texture, whatever you want on your fabric to make it, it better. And I use this all the time for various things. I'll show you a couple examples at the end of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that and delete that. And I'm going to start, I've already done it. So I'm just going to start by turning this on. And these are my clipping masks that have already been put together for you. So I'll start with the bottom. So this is the bottom and this is just the strap. And keep in mind that I made a clipping mask and I saved, made a selection, saved it. And that way I could go back to it all the time. And same thing, I put that piece of sequence over top of that. Here's the next one. So this is the top. This is the jacket. And these are the pants. So if you close that whole group, you can see that it really, really alters it. And then of course you can go in and you can change the color or in this case, what I did down here was I just added, I merged all of those layers. You don't have to, but I did. And then I just added a curves adjustment and clipped that curves adjustment by right clicking and choosing create clipping mask to the fabric to turn it darker. And this is super easy. The only thing that is time consuming is making sure that your selection is perfect, okay? So, and this is my final edit. Cool, right? Okay, now I'm gonna show you a few other images that I've made using this technique. So like I said, this is the fairy godmother. Here's one. So basically, I didn't like the fact that her bra was white and her underwear were black. So I copied and clipped this fabric texture for the final image. And this one here, you can see that I added spots to her skin and tried to make her look 
more like a little butterfly and that technique I used using just her skin so hopefully that makes sense and here's another one and this one I created the sequence fabric over top of this little girl so I know this is a super short video but it's really really easy to do and it's fun to do and I hope you have fun with it and I'll see you in the next video